In today's video, I want to show you how to make use of SQL Tuning Advisor combined with SPA. SPA is a SQL Performance Analyzer and is part of the Real Application Testing Pack. We make use of SPA in order to validate changes made to the database system. I'll highlight the SQL ID. As you can see, it's the one that is consuming most of the CPU resources in this database. Then I'll click Tune SQL. Then I'm just gonna leave all the defaults for the SQL Tongue Advisor task. And I'll click Submit. And I'll wait for um, the SQL Tongue Advisor task to finish. It won't take long. Okay, so we have two recommendations. The first one is to create a SQL profile and the second one is to create an index. We can see the benefits of doing each of the tasks. The first uh, task, the, the first recommendation, which is create a SQL profile as a benefit of 55% and create an index will give us around 74% of benefit. You can see we have a button to implement SQL profile. The only problem with this uh, implementation is that we cannot validate the changes. Uh, we have an expectation of 55%, but we don't know if really is that going to be that benefit. We don't know if uh, the new execution plan that is going to be created by the SQL profile, um, it will produce a suboptimal plan or not. Then the second option is to click on validate with SPA and we're going to be creating an SPA task um, and we are going to be able to validate those changes uh, related to the SQL profile. Just click on validate with SPA, then we can see that we had a confirmation that uh, an SPA task was um, submitted. And I'm going to click on this name for the SPA task. That is going to take me to the SQL Performance Analyzer homepage. And we can see that we have uh, this SPA SQL profile task and um, completed, right? I'm gonna click on that name of the task and it's gonna take me to the information of that SPA task. Can expand on SQL tuning sets. We you know that we have one SQL statement on that. And basically we have different um, SQL trials. In the first SQL trial, um, SPA will gather performance information related to that SQL statement before implementing the SQL profile. Then on the second trial, it will gather information of that particular SQL statement after implementing the SQL profile. Then it's gonna compare the performance before and after and uh, we'll get a detailed report of um, the results. Let me click on this comparison report. And as you can see here, we have a regression impact, right? So basically creating a SQL profile for this particular SQL ID is not the best idea, right? We can see that we have a regression impact of 873%. Also we have, um, information related to the time that is taking. So before implementing the SQL profile, that SQL ID was taking 0 0.5 uh, seconds. Now it's taking more than five seconds per execution, right? And also, as you can see here, there are some recommendations. The first recommendation is to create SQL plan baselines in order to bring back a stable plan in case that the optimizer is producing um, different plans, right? The second recommendation is to rerun SQL Tank Advisor. Okay, and there will be an action to create SQL Tank sets. We know that we already have a SQL Tank set, we already run the SQL Tank Advisor, right? So, in this example, I can, I want to, I, I wanted to show you how to make use of SPA. Probably the best idea is to implement um, the index. Um, and this concludes how to make use of SQL Tuning Advisor 
combined with SPA in order to validate that the changes that we're trying to make or we're making to the database systems um, and those results are uh, inside our expectations. I mean, we, we try to make this SQL ID faster and you can see that there is a regression impact. Thank you very much.